Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the Form Analytics Premium feature of Matomo Analytics for our self-host installation. So uh, it's a premium feature that you need to uh, purchase and then download either through bundle or, or others. Uh, so you can do so by going over here in uh, System Plugins, then you go on um, Installing from the Marketplace, you purchase the plugin, you get a license key and then you get the plugin name Form Analytics. Uh, when you install this given plugin, what you will get afterward is these parts over here named forms. Um, the form depends of the different forms that you have on, on your website. Just to let you know that this premium feature has been taught uh, before the Tag Manager plugin to be launched. So the form tracking is a bit like the content, the Tag Manager. Uh, but just for the form, so it's a very really powerful feature for the one who has no, let's say, advanced skills in terms of development, and it's very, very handy. Um, I have the feeling that what it does is that it automatically scans uh, the, let's say, every when you activate the plugin, it looks on the for each page on which you have the tracking code which is loaded, it's looking out uh, the source code of your uh, of your form and looking for the name or either the id okay and it's based on this that it's automatically recognizing that there are forms on which are interaction on if you don't have this id or name thing the form tracking won't work so uh, this is typically what you find by yourself or by looking at the faq or uh, just by trying to play with the form tracking but this part the id stuff is really essential because it's based on this then the uh, plugin, the premium feature is going to work. Uh, you can in fact directly see that when you go over here and when you click on create a new form so you can access through this UI either by going over here on measurable or either by directly selecting the website on which you want to play with and then uh, you can clearly see it over here manage forms and uh, here you can access to the same thing. So in my case what I did as my form was not recognized first I added an ID, so I need to go within the source code of my website and to add this ID thing. Once I did so, I went uh, over here and I somehow forced it. I could have done it uh, otherwise because in any case, this Matomo would have done the job, but I named it contact. Then I said, okay, I have a form ID. I could have used the form name. And here I said, this is, uh, this is contact. Um, for the other information, I leave it as they were. Um, it's probably this one on which I will work maybe a little bit more uh, later on where it said about what is the difference between form submits and uh, forms uh, conversion which are different metrics which are displayed within uh, the um, let's say within Matu. So uh, here what is interesting is as you can see um, I don't have any form interaction measured um, so for example, I visited the website over here on which the form tracking was on. And as you can see, when I go over here in contact, um, I can clearly see that I got some uh, views and, and viewers. So to say this is still myself, but I looked at it twice, the form. And those interactions are not pushed to the visit log. So I think this part is interesting is that the interaction on the forms are kind of hidden. You cannot see them once the user have not tried to submit something. So I'm going to try to make, um, and this is my form, I'm going to try to make like a, a scent uh, with a mistake in order for you to see, uh, I hope, the uh, differences in the form. So this is my forms. Uh, by the way, if you just um, refresh your page, you can see over here the Matumo push and within the Matumo push, you can see it um, mostly on the second line. Second line at the middle, you get parameters, as you can see, which are FA, uh, VID, FA, FB, uh, FA, ID, contact, uh, and so on and so forth. I think here the FA stands for form analytics, so to say it's measuring stuff about uh, what is happening. So here, normally, if I refresh my page, I should see uh, three views, I guess of my uh, reviews of my uh, of my forms uh, because of course the interaction will let me send so here i'm gonna do like a run on here i'm gonna uh, put something which has no sense i'm gonna push uh, the 
on the form and we're gonna see if uh, it reacts and if you say like okay there was a submission but it wasn't a conversion because uh, the form wasn't sent successfully let's see how it goes um, so still one viewer zero starter zero submitter I'm just gonna go over here for the uh, for the visit log so I don't know if it's due to the way my form is is down uh, because in some form you get like uh, an action which is after but but let's see um, okay test at root.com and let's see how it goes so here normally the form has been sent i'm uh, gonna see how matumo react to this okay so here i got the submit uh form contact which is okay um <laughs> and now let's see uh how it looks like so i can go in real time so okay so as you can see in my case uh, the first try of submission has not been, let's say, uh, counted. Um, whereas we saw that there was a mistake within the form. So I guess I need to look through the Matomo documentation in order to tweak my form a little bit uh, in order to uh, make it as, a, let's say, not a right submit. Uh, so I don't know how to do it, but definitely I think that's worth uh, digging into it in order to get the data out of it uh, okay and for the rest uh, this is what it looks like so for him 100 percent of the people who starting the form uh, sent it uh, i get like a conversion rate of 400 percent so i think that's because my form was not complicated enough and that's the reason why it, it's not tracking it properly because normally i should have got um i should have got something different here i should have got like um um less i should have got um, should have got a difference here because i sent it but it has not been properly sent the first time uh, so i'm gonna try uh, now to define the conversion part so i'm gonna go over here and manage and the form and i'm gonna try to make it track this form is converted when any of those pages are visited okay so in my case uh when the url contains some parameters which are uh, i'm gonna put uh like uh, a special email address like contains root one for this uh, i will ensure that it's gonna be uh, okay um so let's go back over here let's just refresh the page in case of and we say that uh within the email i should have something like ronan at root1.com uh, in order for it to be pushed as email and uh and uh, let's push it okay so i pushed it i got root one so normally it should be one submit uh, one additional view and as well one uh, conversion so let's see how it goes um so this is okay um uh, okay and let's see if it's counted as as um as a conversion yes it's counted as a conversion it's one submitter one resubmitter which i think this is right and uh yes and and that's it so uh, i guess here in this video you just got like a brief overview of what happens it seems uh to work fine for me uh, it's just that it's about i think tweaking your forms knowing your forms a little bit more in order to not mess up so as i did over here so normally uh, i should not have got a 100 submitter rate or should i have oh, i don't know i'm a bit confused over here but uh for the rest i think you got the, the idea